Thank you for viewing the Be Ready Street Ministries YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe and may God bless you all in abundance. You may not live your life, but your best life now, like John Osteen said. You gotta live your life for eternity. Because life here on earth don't last long. It's because of sin. And sin separates you from God. So that's why we are here to let you know that God loves you. And he can remove that sin from you. The Bible says that he came to remove the remissions of your sins. So that's why we're out here. It's not just the food that we serve, it's also the spiritual food that we need to give out too. It's for your soul. Because what a man profit if he gains the whole world and still loses his soul. And a lot of people are losing their soul because they profit the whole world. And that's the, that's the problem that's in this world. It's, it's, uh, it's idolatry, it's, 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 um, it's self-righteousness. It's all these things, it's all about I, I, me, me in this world. But what about Jesus who created the world? He said, I, I created the heavens and the earth. John, Gen Genesis chapter one, verse one. He said, God, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the same earth that God has created that you're walking on is the same God that can save you today. He came to save those who are lost. And today we are living in a lost and dying world. This world is dying each and every day. But you can live to see another day. Because somebody died last night. Somebody got shot last night. Somebody got shot five minutes ago. But you're still blessed to see another day. And the Bible says today is the day of salvation. So don't give up on God. Thank you. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. God is a faithful God. Even though you're not faithful, he is still faithful. Even though you know, think about God, he is still faithful. We live in a faithful world, but we serve a faithful God. The Bible says God is faithful.
from every abuse. Some of you have been abused by maybe your parents, your brothers, your sisters, maybe your neighbors. I was talking to a brother yesterday and he said I stayed many years in prison and I was abused. And I had to pray for this brother. And I said God can meet you at your point of need. My brother, God can change you. God can heal you. He can heal the broken hearted. He can heal your broken hearted right now. Jesus said, the Lord has anointed me. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. For God has anointed me to set the captives free. Hallelujah. Jesus was anointed to set you free. Jesus was anointed to set the men of Pharaoh free. Philadelphia, Jesus was anointed for you. He was anointed for your purpose. He was anointed because of you to set the captives free. Are you a captive of drugs? Are you a captive of anything that is disturbing your life? You need Jesus Christ. He will set you free. Christ came over here today to bring you hope. This is why we're here today to bring you hope. Like how this uh, center over here called hope. Jesus has hope. That street name is hope. Jesus has hope. And today I want to talk about John 14:6. The way, the truth, and life. Este, aquí se llama esperanza. La calle se llama esperanza. Y Cristo es el único que le puede dar esperanza. Por eso yo les quiero hablar de Juan 14, 6. John 14, 6 talk about way, truth, and life. Juan 14, 14, 6 habla que Jesús es el camino, la verdad, y la vida. ¿Por qué un camino? Why is a way? Because we have to find a way. Y that way is Christ. Porque usted y yo tenemos que encontrar ese camino. Y ese camino se llama Jesús. You need a change in your life. Find a way. Necesitas un cambio en tu vida. Encuentra ese camino. And that change is Jesus Christ. Y ese camino, ese cambio es Jesucristo. You want to find the truth. Jesus Christ is the truth. Nobody is the truth. No can be a religion. No can be in the street. No can be at the best drug. There no can be anything you can find in the street. No puede ser. Jesús es el único verdadero. No puede ser en la calle, lo que usted consuma, lo que usted haga, lo que usted practique. Nada de eso le puede traer, ¿verdad? The only one can bring you truth is Christ. Anything else, no bring you truth. Only one prayer to change your life. All it takes is one prayer to change your future. All it takes is one prayer to change your destiny. But will you receive the living God? Will you receive the Spirit when it comes? Will you receive? Let me tell you something. Jesus is a gentleman. He doesn't bully nobody. He doesn't force nobody. But he loves his people. He loves his people. He loves his people. God then raised up Jen, uh, uh, um, Jonah to go to Nineveh. God raised up Jonah. He raised up a prophet. He raised up a prophet to go to one of the greatest cities in the world and to tell them to repent. He raised up a, a mighty prophet to, to go to the, one of the worst, wickedest cities in the world and he told them to repent. And Jonah preached the gospel, and it was like fire coming out of his mouth. Amen. How many people will listen? How many people will fast? How many people will pray? How many people is going to receive the Lord today? How many people? Hallelujah. How many? Hallelujah. Under the sound of my voice, how many? God loves you. Jesus loves you. Let me tell you something. You are just one prayer away from your destiny changing. You're just one prayer away, friends. I'm trying to tell you something. I feel something in my spirit. Look, you're just one, one prayer. That's all it takes. Because I know the prayer works when you work it. When you trust God, when you obey God, God answers prayer.